today, let's step back in time. Back to the prisoner of war camps of the Second World War. See these big rows, these mounds of dirt? These were the razor wire mounds. Okay, viewers, here we've got a 1247 CX. Oh, we've got a wing. How awesome is that? That was up here in the old POW camp, prisoner of war camp. It would have been very heartbroken to have lost that. That once belonged to a soldier. How cool is that? I rechecked the plug before closing it over, and I found a couple more very small items. Allies, enemies, or not. I would like to think that it was buried on purpose, and remembering that history is history. Hey everyone, that was Neil Colston with Diggers Down Under. You know, him and his digging partner, Bolan, got permission to go out and do some hunting at that old piece of property that used to be a POW camp back in World War II. Wow, what a find, huh? A German trench art ring, amazing find. And then you were able to find those little pieces. Awesome job, awesome job, Neil. Hey, if you're not a fan of his channel, go check out Diggers Down Under. I'm gonna put the link down below. You can go over there and give them a look, become a fan, become a subscriber. Diggers Down Under, great job. Hey everyone, I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt and welcome to the Weekly Dirt, a weekly series I put on every Sunday where I'll bring you stuff like that. Great finds from great channels. I'll tell you about events and happenings here in our metal detecting world and I'll bring it to you every Sunday here on the Weekly Dirt. Hey, hit that subscribe button to stay current and stay up to speed on what's going on here in our metal detecting world. Hey everyone, what a great permission was scored this week from History Preserved. Boy, I'll tell you, Nick was on some land previously owned by the Putnam family. That's right, the Putnam family, as in George Putnam married to Amelia Earhart. Boy, what an incredible opportunity. And then he scored something tied to the Putnam family and to Amelia Earhart. What a great discovery. Let's check it out this week. This is Nick with History Preserved. Check this out. T2, I just dug a U.S. belt plate. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Alright guys, right down here I got something really cool. Britain dug two last time we hunted. It's a lead flint, uh, flint patch for a flintlock musket. This would, uh, hold the flint in place. Uh, for when it would strike the gunpowder on the flintlock musket. I'll show you all what it looked like on the gun, but that's an awesome find, guys. Probably handmade by a soldier. bracelet says David on it oh. right there it says sterling sterling silver bracelet it says David on it this house was built in 1913 so it's probably an old bracelet sweet
Well, David was the son of George Putnam, who was married to Amelia Earhart. And together with Amelia Earhart, they started Northeast Airlines. That's right. You know, David went on to become a World War II pilot. He was a great author. He was involved in all kinds of things throughout his life. What an amazing discovery this week from Nick over at History Preserve. That bracelet that more than likely belonged to David Putnam himself. What an awesome, awesome story. I sure hope you get a chance to do some research, find some of his surviving members, and return that bracelet to the Putnam family. I bet they would be thrilled. Everyone, head on over to History Preserve and check out his channel. He's always finding great finds like that. Go become a fan. History Preserve. Go check it out. Hey, let's head on over to England and check in with West Country Clegg. West Country Clegg, always finding the goods over there in England. Let's check in with him this week and see what he was digging. Check this out this week. West Country Clegg. Watch this. Go, oh, I made it, my lovers. I'm here. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. Uh, is that it? Oh, my lovers! Woohoo! I just turned the clock over and out it popped. Hammered! I should have said hammered coins when I said when I was, what I wanted to find on my way here. Oh. Oh, he's an old one. He's an old one. There he is, Henry, possibly, I don't know, I don't know. Avoided Long Cross, I think they call them. Oh my God, I think I got a horde. Here's another one. I got a horde, I got a horde. Another voided long cross. Do you think the uh, finds liaison officer might class this as treasure? <laughs> oh, right. I'm gonna hit hammer this place. Get it, hammer. <laughs> Is it focusing? Yeah. There we go. Oh, another voided long cross. Look. Great job, Cleggy. Great job. I'm telling you, the hammers were flowing. What an amazing find. Anytime you find some old silver hammers, just an amazing, amazing accomplishment. Congratulations, everyone. If you like silver hammers, you like Romans, you like seeing the goods be found over in jolly old England, head on over to his channel and become a fan. West Country Clegg, gotta go check that one out. Hey, there's a great new series starting tomorrow on the History Channel UK. It's called River Hunters. That's right, stars our very own Bo Wemet, the Aqua Chigger, and his co-star Rick Edwards they're going to go explore the waterways of the UK and find lost history. It should be great. It's called River Hunters, and it starts tomorrow at 9 p.m. in the UK on the History Channel UK. Let's take a sneak peek at an amazing discovery they found. How about a 3,000-year-old axe head? Check this out. A shout's gone up, and it's something big. What do you fall? An axe? Caught my eye. Woo! Oh, dude, are you serious? A bronze axe? Oh, that is a fucking lister. Bronze age axe, bronze it's bronze age. age. It's yeah, just perfect. Am. Wow. That was some noise in there, my water has to try to get it out of the mud, but wow. So people have been using this pool Absolutely. for a long time, haven't they? Absolutely. This Bronze Age axe head was here long before Robert the Bruce. It's over 3,000 years old. Absolutely incredible. In prehistoric times, man was learning how to forge tools to cultivate the land. This is an incredible discovery. It's an awesome moment for us all. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's heart attack material, isn't it? <laughs> I just felt like a nice shiny stone under the mud and I kept moving everything out the road. I mean, that's, um, that's museum quality. It is. <laughs> that's, uh, um, wow. Thanks. I I've never actually, um, no, I've never held one. No, you have. I have. <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces, but I've never seen a whole one. Ah. Uh, that's just. That's, that is, that is officially treasure. 
Yes. That, as defined by law, that's treasure. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. That makes your trip bold, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> you know, when I hold something like this, it just makes me feel all these emotions of people that have come before us. And this is so old. You know, there's so much history going into this. There's so much history that's passed over this. Scottish War of Independence. Those people walked right over this. <laughs> you know, it's just, it just all ties together and kind of gives you chills and goosebumps. Yeah. You know, I really do have goosebumps. <laughs> Wow, what an amazing discovery. You know, that is from the History Channel UK's new series called River Hunters. That's right, with Rick Edwards and Bo Wimet, otherwise known as Aqua Chigger. It starts tomorrow night at 9 p.m. in the UK. Hey, if you're here in the U.S. and you want to get a chance to view that, I'm going to put some links down below to various social media sites. You need to go on there and say, hey, we need that show here in the U.S. We need access to it. And go petition the History Channel to Give us at least online access to that show here in the States. I'm sure Bo would appreciate it. I know I would appreciate it. And I think we would all benefit from it. River Hunters starts tomorrow night, 9 p.m. in the UK. Got to go check it out. Hey, and if you like some of these finds, don't forget to check out this video I picked out for you personally and this one YouTube picked out for you personally. But also hit that subscribe button. If you are not already a subscriber, we'd really appreciate it. Everyone, have yourself a great week. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. See you next time.